Okay, so now we want your take on this new variant. Uh, do we know it to be, that's another uh, discussion that we had earlier, do we know it to actually be 70% more contagious? Is that just a, a is there moderate confidence in that? A, a whole lot of confidence? No, that, there is a whole lot of confidence in that, you guys. It's 40 to 70% more contagious. And the changes that have occurred genetically, there's 23 genetic mutations that have accumulated in this strain. They've actually made the spike protein, the part that binds to the human cells, more sticky. And we think that may be one of the mechanisms by which it is more contagious. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are getting sicker. But I also want to add something from what you guys were talking about earlier, which is that Jeff said there's only two cases. Jeff, there's only two documents cases. So I am very confident that this strain is actually much more widespread than what we've documented, but we've only done genetic analysis on 51,000 out of 17 million cases here. So the net that we're looking with has holes that are too big, so we're not catching the cases, but it's really not a scare tactic. It's what viruses do. They mutate in response to genetic pressure, evolutionary pressure, which is what we're putting on this, and they mutate to increase their survival. So you know, it's not surprising to me the new strain is here, but it does make me put my guard up because it does spread more easily and we have to be more careful with it. Man, if every time two people got into a Facebook argument <laughs> over this, we could just get Dr. Coley to like swoop in like a superhero and be like, you're right but not about this, and you're right, but not about that. It would that. save a lot like, of relationships. Without a barf emoji or a, a clown emoji? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Coley, really quick, I think we have like 20, 30 seconds with you. You mentioned you got the vaccine, but you had, uh, you got sick, which is a sign of it working, right? Boosting your immune system, but can you elaborate a little bit more on that? How sick did you get? Yeah, you know, I think it was mostly that I was so excited about it, you guys. I didn't expect that I would feel under the weather, but you know, two thirds to three fourths of people feel sick. So I had some arm pain, I had a little fever. I was took the next day off and stayed home, but within 24 hours, all my symptoms were gone. So, you know, I'm ready for that second shot and I know it might be worse the second time around, but I'm ready for my immune system to make those antibodies. Doc, we appreciate you in 2020, yes, we, we really do. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, doctor. It's a takeover. DBL is exactly what we say it is. We are honest. We'll always tell you what we really think. What we really think. This is absolutely laughable. Are you serious? We're not just reading the stories. We're sharing our opinions and having real conversations. Because that is insane to me. People are going to be upset. I can completely understand that. Tell us your DBL take. We want to know what you think. You may agree with us, you may not. But that's the point. It's a takeover. I mean, run this city.